Hello, my name is Joseph Beasley, and today I'll be showing you my fully built Honda TRX 250X. Yeah, moving bricks, fucking on his dot in that bitch a red bone. Yeah, yeah, put the bitch on. First off, we have my Alba Racing bumper. We got this mainly for the looks, but it also perform performs really well. The red grill really matches the quad, and you can get different color options as well. The bumper is very light and strong, and so far it's survived everything. You can pick one of these bumpers up for about 60 bucks on TeamAlbaRacing.com. Um, I would definitely recommend this bumper if you have a Honda TRX 250X. And um, yeah, uh, off to the next item. Next up, we have the Rocks Risers. These Rocks Risers replace the old dash that was um, flimsy and plastic. They also allow you to adjust your handlebars forward or more back. This could come in hand if you have a smaller person riding the quad. And um, as you can see, the key goes in front of the, of the bars while the neutral and reverse lights are behind the bars. The Rock's dash is made out of metal instead of the stock ones that were plastic. And uh, in my opinion, the Rock's dash looks a lot better than the stock dash and is completely worth the upgrade. To go with the Rock's dash, we have these flex handlebars. They make it much easier to steer, they reduce vibration almost completely, and they seriously lighten up the front end. They give you more of an aggressive stance, and best of all, it makes the quad look seriously badass. These handlebars are expensive, but if you are an aggressive rider, I would seriously look into these. The handlebars really improve handling, and have made riding so much more enjoyable for me. Also, to go with the bars, we got some spider grips and some power mad handguards that have held up very well. The handlebars have been my favorite upgrade by far, and in my opinion, if you're going to get the flex handlebars, I would totally get the Rock's dash to go with it. Next up, we have a ricochet skid plate under the quad. It's an aluminum skid plate, so it isn't that heavy, and it covers most of the important parts. Um, if you do a lot of off-roading, you will probably need one of these to protect the bottom from rocks and other things. We had this skid plate for about five years, and as you can see, it has taken all the abuse and survived everything. The bottom piece of the skid plate that covers the drivetrain has some bad marks and dents, but so far it's did its job. You also have to remember to tighten the skid plates every now and then, or, or else they will rattle around. If you are a Honda TRX 250 owner, getting a skid plate is almost a must, especially if you do hard off-roading. It's worth your money because we've had the quad for almost five years with the skid plates on and drove about over 1,500 miles and so far um, we've had no problems with the skid plates. Next up we have my Tusk Nerf bars. I got mine black with red straps to match the quad but there are also many other color options as well. Nerf bars make it so your feet don't slip off the pegs and then get ran over by the tire. They also prevent other riders' wheels from getting tangled up in your quad if you crash in a race. The Tusk Nerf bars have held up very well. They have been on the quad for almost 5 years and has survived a few rollovers as well. Overall, I would totally get these Nerf bars for safety and performance, and it was a great upgrade. Next up is my HMF exhaust. This exhaust increases power in the low end and the high end and it really lets the quad breathe like it should. The exhaust isn't too loud, but it also isn't too quiet. It's a perfect in the middle, but you can make it loud by simply opening up the throttle and letting it roar. If you're going to get the exhaust, it's highly recommended to get the carburetor jet kit. If you only get the exhaust with no jet kit, it could damage the engine. The jet kits allow more gas and air to come in and allows the quad to perform better with the new exhaust. The jet kit is very easy to install, especially because the carburetor is very um, accessible on this ATV. 
The kit is cheap and they tell you how to do it on the HMF website. The exhaust pops and shoots flames and it makes riding so much more fun. The new exhaust is significantly lighter than the stock HP exhaust as well. This exhaust is pure performance, looks awesome, and sounds sweet. Next up are my durable wheel spacers. The wheel spacers are 1.5 inches wide, so they make the quad less tippy. You can play around more with a more wide and stable setup. The stock width was too narrow and made the quad tippy. The stock width was 41.8 inches wide and the aftermarket width is now 44.8 inches wide. The wheel spacers weigh almost nothing and it was super easy install. They, they make the quad look cooler and they have held up great. And finally, my Maxxis Razor 2 tires. I haven't rode these tires yet, but they look awesome. The rear tires are slightly lower and wider than the front tires to give it that nice sport quad stance. The treads are sharp and it really fits the quad. The real reason we got these is because I basically wore the treads off the stock tires. I would definitely recommend checking these out if you need fresh tires for your sport quad. If you guys are wondering what I use to keep my plastic shiny after 5 years, I use a bottle of Simple Green and a rag, and then I'll use tire foam on the wheels and tires. That's all I have guys, have a nice new year, and see you in the next one.